Hello and welcome to the solution video for Workout Wednesday 2023 week 13 for Power BI. This week we made a connected scatter plot using an image as the marker. There was an original uh, visual made in R that inspired this. So I did my own twist using Deneb in Power BI. We kept the requirements simple this week. Just create a connected scatter plot with year on the X axis and date within the year on the Y axis. And then use any image of your choice to mark each year in the plot. I chose to use a simple SVG path to create my image. And you can do that as well, or you can use a, an image from a URL. That part's up to you. And then use background image on the page. The one that I got came from Wikipedia, and I cropped the image and uh, flipped it to make it look like this mountain that we see in the background. The data uh, for this week came from an NOAA study and we gave you the link directly to the Excel file for you to download. So I'm importing that file. There's only one worksheet in there and it does require a little bit of transformation. So first I'll change my table name to cherry blossoms. And then there's some extra data at the top that we don't need to be part of the table. So we're going to remove the top 25 rows and then use the first row as headers. and make sure our data types all look good. We don't need this column seven, there's nothing in it. And I really only want data that has values for the full flowering date. So we can filter that. And I'm going to add a custom column and call it flowering date and do date.add days. And so we're going to take the year, which is in the AD column. And we're going to add the days from the full flowering date column and subtract one. So now we have the date in a date format. And I renamed AD to year. And that should be it as far as Power Query. Since this one is uh, one main chart, I'm going to go ahead and get the stuff around it set up real quick.
And I did have a little bit of transparency in my background because I wanted to make sure that I had good color contrast and that the background didn't overwhelm the chart. Much better. So then I just add my text boxes. Oops. And that gets us set up. So we need to download Deneb to make our custom visual. And I'll go ahead and size it up. And I don't need a background. And year. All right, so let's look at this Deneb code. The JSON, the first line is just identifying the data set. And then we start with encoding because I have two marks and they actually share uh, the same axes. So we're defining year on the X axis and we're saying it's a quantitative value we gave it a title and a format and then on the y we're using flowering date and we're defining that as month date so that it already gives us the right format so that's where we get that apr 15 apr 22 from we didn't need to do anything in power query or dax to get that we can do that right here in deneb i made it um so that Every date wasn't labeled. That looked a little busy. So that's why you can see the axis there has a tick count of eight. I adjusted the padding a little bit from the title. And then I set the order so that the line goes sequentially by year. So then there's two marks. And the first mark is a line. And I set the stroke width to two because I wanted it to be fairly dainty. The focus is probably a little more on the flowers, but I did make it a very dark gray color because when it's placed on top of the background that we have on the page, I wanted it to be more prominent than the background to get a good visual hierarchy. And then we have our second mark, which is a point. The point is how we get the flowers on there. So you can have a point that has different predefined shapes, but you can also have a point that uses an SVG path for a shape. So if you had an existing SVG image and you opened it up in a text editor, you would see the path and you would see the parts that I have as my value for the shape. So you take that part out of the SVG definition and put it in here. 
And um, Carrie Colosco has a, a blog post that talks about this as well if you need a little help. I gave you a link in the Workout Wednesday page to grab this code. If this is not a part you really want to spend a lot of time on, that's fine. I said, it is filled. It's got a pink color. And I made sure my tooltip was true for that. So that is what gives us our connected scatter plot. There are a couple things that I did in the config file. The font I made consistent with the rest of it. Uh, you may have noticed that the values for my axes were a bit lighter than the titles and so I fixed some of that. To finish this up, we just give the page a title, do our accessibility and usability checks such as setting tab order. We would do for every um, visual or every report. So that the title, then the next text box, then the visual and the link at the bottom. I do want Deneb at the top in my layer order. I've already checked my color contrast. I feel good about my wording so I could publish from here. And that is our connected scatter plot with an image used for a marker. I hope you enjoyed this workout Wednesday.